Right guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. In this one I'm just going to be showing you how to remove and reinstall your SRAM, Truvative, Stylo, Dub, uh, crank set. So that's a one by crank set for mountain bike. So let's go ahead, let's run through the steps. Right, one, two, three. Right, so here we have the uh, crank set. Now, this is, like I said, a Truvative, Stylo, um, crank dub as you can see there so first thing we do to remove it is you can either push your trailer forward and then drop your chain off be careful it's a carbon frame and you don't want to damage it so, so take that area up there so you can drop the chain down without scratching and damaging anything or preferably if you can remove the chain then it's always better to remove it so if it's got a uh, power link in it you can just remove that with your um, pliers quick link pliers so you can go ahead either drop the chain or remove the chain out of the way I'll do that again Right, one, two, three. Right, so here we have the SRAM crank set. Like I said, this is a one by uh, 12 speed. So this is true Vative Stylo crank with a dub interface. Now, first thing you want to do is remove your chain. So you can either drop the chain off, just make sure if it's carbon frame and you don't damage anything. If you can't drop the chain off, you've got a chain guide on there or anything like that and you can't drop the chain off, then just remove the chain with the, uh, with the uh, quick link and take it out so you can remove the chain off. That's the best option. So now we're on the left hand crank arm now. So what you want to do is look for a 2mm hex. There's an arrow by it so you can see where it is. So what you want to do with that is we're just slacken that off, just undo it a few turns so it's loose. Once you've loosened it, then what I'll do is you can just undo it anti clockwise or counter clockwise until it stops moving. Then we go back to the uh, right hand side, drive side. So now we're back on the right hand side, chain ring side. Now you see there, you've got a, a cap on the end where the writing's on, there where it says dub. Now, you're not looking to remove that cap on the end, that stays in place. What you, what you need to do is, down inside there, there's an 8mm hex through the centre of there, down inside. So it just locates in there like that. Now, you can use one of these, normal Allen key hex head, but you won't be able to undo that if it's been tightened up properly, then one of these will not undo that nut. Because the torque on that is 54 newton meters, so it's tight, and if you've never had yours apart before, then you don't stand a chance with um, a normal uh, Allen key. So what you need to do is get yourself a socket, like say 8mm, and get a decent sized bar, a couple of foot, three foot bar to undo it with and then even with a bar of that size you could be trying to undo it by holding on to the crank arm with one hand and then undoing it anti-clockwise, counter-clockwise with the bar and you still won't be able to undo it so you can either get somebody holding the opposite side crank arm for you holding on to that whilst you try and undo this side if you've never had yours apart before or what you can do is in a situation like this with the pedals in on the bike what you do is I'll just show you so it's, it's an easy way of undoing it if yours is really tight and you can't do it on your own what you do is locate the 8mm down through the middle 
like that. And then on the opposite side, you can see where the crank is positioned, so straight like that. On this side, what you do is a bike standing on the with the bike with the tires on the ground because you're going to be going anti clockwise, that's going to be going down on this side. So, what you want to do is on the floor build up some blocks of wood so they're resting underneath the pedal to bring it up to height, then rest them so they're underneath the pedal like that. And then, as you do undo this, that'll come down and rest on top of the blocks of wood there. So it's not damaging anything, just rest it under the pedal itself and then you can undo this side easily on your own. So like I said, if it's been tightened up, that's how you have to undo it. But sometimes you get away with just if you know it's been apart before and you've greased it up and you've had it apart a few times and you know you should be able to hold on to the crank arm. And then anti-clockwise, counterclockwise on the bar, and it should break loose eventually. So once you've got it moving, it will go tight again, so you have to hold it again. Because what it's doing is, underneath the cover, there's another nut inside, and it's a self-extracting crank arm, so it will come off just by undoing it it'll come off on its own. So you just keep undoing it like that. It might go tight again. Just keep on winding it undone then eventually it'll just go loose. So you won't need the bar on there. You can just undo it normally then. Once you've got it loose you could just use your normal hex head. You can carry on unwinding it like that. So you just get that undone all it's doing is as you're undoing it it's just pulling it off of the axle so just undo it all the way it'll just keep pulling it off then we'll just drop off like that and there you have it removed when you've got it removed just make a note of the spacer you've got sat there be a spacer on the end like that. So there it is. Depends on what size spacer you've got on yours. They could vary, but you have a spacer on there, so just be mindful of the spacer and put that to one side. And then when you've got that undone, then all you do we get a soft blow hammer, rubber hammer, and just give that a tap and it'll come back out of the left hand side. So I'll just hold on the arm that side, just give it a tap, like that. And we slide it right out of the opposite side, and there it is, removed. So what you want to do now is go ahead and just clean up the parts, get all the old grease and dirt off them, what's accumulated. And then clean up round the bottom bracket where it's going to go back, where it's going to slide back through. Just get any old grease off of there as well. So this just happens to be a press fit bottom bracket, but you could have a threaded bottom bracket. So once you've got your parts cleaned up, then what you want to do to go ahead and reinstall it is first with the crank, what you want to do is like I said, make sure that that adjuster ring there is undone anti-clockwise until it's stopped moving. Make sure it's free and it moves easily. If you've got a lot of dirt on it, you can just wind that off and take that off completely and clean it all up so you know it's working properly. So you can just undo it like that until it comes off. Then you can clean the threads up with a small brush in there, clean all them threads up properly. So as when that goes back on, you can put a bit of grease on it, just on the thread there, and then you can do it back up to make sure when you tighten it up don't cross thread it on there or anything like that and then you can do it back up and then wind it all the way in until it stops against the crank arm and then what we do is we can go ahead and reinstall it 
So what I'll do, I'll just put some grease over the actual axle that's going to go through the middle, just grease that all over it. And then what you want to do, just put a bit of grease just on the inside there of the bottom bracket both sides just to slide it through like that. And then what we do is put it through from the uh, left hand side. So slide that through like that, make sure it's right through and then with your spacer make sure that you can see it says um, what size spacer is and it's got dub written on it and SRAM so make sure the writing's facing outwards towards you when you put it on so put that back on there like that and then what you want to do then is make sure with your crank arm make sure on the end you greased it up inside there and put some grease down in actually down inside no point in just putting it on there you can just get a little brush and put it down inside the end there make sure you got a bit of grease over the end on the splines there as well and just put a little bit just in the end where the nut the bolt goes there to hold it on just to help it come undone and stop it getting stuck on there at layer date so we just put the crank arms obviously straight down like that so you just put it on opposite to how it is there so you just offer that up so it's opposite to the other one and then what you do is get your 8mm hex head and just start doing it up and as you're doing it up what it's doing is it's just pulling it onto the splines so you just keep doing it up by hand there until it stops moving you can just nip it up with your hex head just pull it on there like that like I said the torque on it is 54 newton meters so if you've got a big enough torque wrench for that then go ahead and set it 54 newton meters and torque it up if you haven't then you can just do it up so as it's tight so once you tighten that up like that then we'll go ahead and move around to the other side and do the adjustment so here we are on the left hand side now the ring there that you loosened earlier what that is is just a bearing adjustment now being as it's fully wound back out towards the crank arm if you notice there's play in it in and out as you can see and probably here So what we want to do is adjust it, so binding it back in towards the frame, so we get that wound back in like that, so we move that basically until it stops moving, just go like that and when it stops Like so, then check again, grab hold your crank arm, and rock it backwards and forwards. As you can see there, there's no play in it. So once you just, once that's nipped up, then that's enough. You don't have to go any more than that. And then get your two mil hex head. And just do that back up, just literally nip it up. So it closes that gap up there between the plastic. Just nip that. It's always got bees nipped up. You don't want to over tighten it, you just round it off. And then again, 
just check, grab hold of your crank arm again and rock it backwards and forwards and then make sure that it's free and it spins easily as it should do. So it should spin like that, no problem, It'll be nice and smooth. Right, so we've got the chain back on now. So what you want to do is after you've ridden it for a few miles is just recheck the bearing adjustment, make sure that there isn't no play in the crank arms. So I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more cycle related content. Till next one, ride safe and I'll see you then.